What's up, YouTube? Dream Killer coming at you in another video, and welcome to another episode of DK Talks Movies, a show where I shoot the shit about the latest movie I went to go see, and this one is a very interesting one. It's another anime review. It is for Sword Art Online, the movie Ordinal Scale. And let me just say, I'm just gonna jump the fence right now and say, for those of you who are killer Sword Art Online fans, this movie is highly worth your time. And usually I save my, my, that sort of bit for the end, but I only say this now because uh, this is a one day only showing that happened when I went to go see this movie last night. So for those of you who keep up with all the, all things anime, you'll probably have known about the one day showing and hopefully it was in your area and you got to see it. But for those of us who did not keep track of these sorts of things, this is kind of a bummer because this is a thing that's been happening all the time when anime movie comes to the states. They don't get as much advertising as any other movie on the planet and honestly it's just plain wrong. Because let's, let's start here with saying this movie was barely advertised here in the states. Considering, and that's weird considering the fact that in North America, Sword Art is very popular. Very popular. I have no doubt in my mind Japan got tons of advertising in this movie and they got to know about it, but here in the States, nothing really happened. The only reason I actually found out about this movie was the fact that um, during one another uh, event at my theater, they were screening uh, Princess Mononoke. And usually with these events, they don't ever, they don't do uh, any previews for any movies or anything, but they do show previews for up, upcoming events that will be happening afterwards. And one of those advertisements was for Sword Art Online. It was a brief thing with a picture of the poster for the movie that said March 9th, Sword Art Online, not the movie, and everyone was like, ooh, Sword Art Online movie, yay, even myself. I, I, Admittedly, I am a Sword Art Online fan. Yes, I can feel the hate swelling up in all of you right now for me saying that, but I don't give a fuck. But yeah, I am a Sword Art Online fan, even though I do acknowledge the fact that the anime does have problems, but I do like it for what it is. And as a bit, as a fan of the series, of the anime, I was looking forward to this movie. So of course, I plopped my ass March 9th at the theater to watch this. And... To be fair, when I went there, there was a good crowd of people. And I don't know what to say for any place else that this movie was screening in. Hopefully, if you uh, get the, got to saw this movie, uh, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. And uh, that's why I just recommend that this movie is a good movie. It is It was worth your time if you got to go see it. But unfortunately for those people who didn't get to see it, well, too bad. You're going to have to wait for it to come on... Uh, Blu-ray or DVD if they decide they even want to do that. So right off the bat, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know if I really want to give away spoilers. I'll just give off a brief synopsis of the story, give them my opinion of how the characters uh, did it, uh, felt and felt and feel and all that stuff, how the characters were in the movie and overall, the overall enjoyment of the film. So let's just start with the, this brief synopsis. Um, this movie takes pretty much takes place right after uh, the events of Sword Art Online 2, the second season, um, and they're going through this new version of of uh, VR, which is not VR anymore. It actually is AR, augmented reality, where you attach this thing onto your ear and it gives you virtual reality in the actual real world. You can actually look around. around. It's kind of like a Google Smart Glass, if anyone remembers Google Smart Glass. I'm unfortunately the only one that remembers Google Smart Glass. Whatever the hell happened to that, I will never know. But it's kind of pretty much like Google Smart Glass, what they were trying to do with that. Or even like uh, what Microsoft trying to do with, uh, I think it's Smart Glass they're coming out with. That's their version of augmented reality. But yeah, it's kind of like that, and, also, and so there's a game for it called Ordinal Scale, where it's event battles, you fight monsters and whatever, and pretty much monsters or bosses from Sword Art Alliance start to appear in events, and there's this idol girl that is the star of the game, and there's also this mysterious character that um, acts as 
uh, the highest highest ranking player of the game because um, anyone who plays the game is as has a rank uh, with number one being high as the course and those ranks uh, give you uh, you know uh, prizes and stuff in the real world such as you know coupons for free stuff and so on and so forth and this guy who was ranked number two is very mysterious he starts um, taking interest in Kirito and Asa and all the all the member main characters and over the course of time um, of the movie memory memories of the surviving SAO players start to get wiped out and it's up to Kirito and Asuna and all the gang to figure that out and stop wh whoever's preventing this and that's kind of a brief synopsis of Sword Art Online without um, giving away any spoilers even though a majority of you probably never got a chance to see this one time event but you know for the people who will be patiently waiting for this movie to come out on home media uh, there's your non-spoiler review if you really want a, a full detail of what goes on in the movie there are, I'm sure there are tons of people who are currently doing a review of this movie so go check those people out if you can but uh, yeah Moving on to characters, um, honestly God, I think the character development in this movie is way better than the character development of the actual anime because you start to see the relationship between Asuna and Kirito grow to a certain point where in the end of the movie when a certain thing happens, for those of you people who actually saw the movie, you're like, oh, that's the sweet. <laughs> I, I was one of those people that actually did that. And then now, even those, even like characters like Klein, uh, Silica, uh, Leafa, all those characters you know and love, they they they're more um, they're more I would say energetic than they were in the anime, and not as uh, generic and uh, harem-ish like they were in the anime, and. Yeah, that's all I can say for the characters, but um, one of the things I find that the movie shines on the most is the sound. Oh my god, when I went into this video during the battle scenes, this movie was just awesome. Overall, the action was amazing. The, the action alone is was worth the price of admission. This movie is action-packed, and because of the movie budget, it looks amazing, way more amazing than any of the action sequences in the anime. Which again, it's because of movie budget. Movie budget and anime show budget are two completely different things. But overall, you know, A1 Pictures, when they when they have a, a anime budget or an anime movie budget, I, they they always provide top quality. But here with the movie, it was more so. Because sound design, you can hear like clashing and metal between weapons and shields. You can hear gunfire. It all sounds realistic. It's going across the speakers of the theater left and right. And it was so amazing to hear. It was like beautiful sound to the ears. And of course, Lisa, who has been providing all the music for Sword Art Online, provides music here. Her music, once again, is the star of this anime. It's been the star of this movie. It's been the star of the anime show. It's just overall quite quality. She even uh, provides, you know, vocals for the songs that the, um, the Vocaloid, uh, I wouldn't say villain character, but the character you see who kind of acts as a, as a, um, antagonist, but really isn't. You'll see, you'll understand once you see. But yeah, she, she provides music for that. So music's good, sound design was good, and the animation was top quality again because of uh, anime movie budget. And overall, it was a good action pick. And but unfortunately, <laughs> even though you know I gave a brief snap to the story, the stuff are, the story does suffer for what Sword Art Online Sword Art Online is criticized for. You know, Kirito still has his plot armor. He's still you know the nut can can do no wrong, and the the uh, the threat that's faced with uh, here is actually kind of more real than it has been with uh, like ever since you know the first art to store store online all the threats afterwards were kind of minuscule here the threat here is kind of actually more prominent and you know the antagonists provide provide actual antagonism like 
all the villains in Sword Art Online, if you can call them villains, really, you know, are just bland and just forgettable. Here, with these, with these uh, antagonists, I feel more that they're more likable and you want to hate them for real. It's honestly, it's nice to see. And again, the threat that presents itself in this movie feels like, you know, feels actually suspenseful and you want to know how the hell they're going to, um, how they're going to prevent this thing from happening. So overall, but even though, even with that, you know, the movie still suffers story-wise because it's been that way since the, since the anime, you know, whether you love the anime or hate the anime, you can not argue that the anime story suffers with various things that many people have already uh, argued about. And, you know, that's been the thing of why people love and or hate Sword Art Online. But overall, ignoring that, the, the action and the sound and the music alone are the stars and are worth the price of admission alone. So if you got to see this anime, you got your, you got your, you got your, um, enjoyment in, in full. If you, if you didn't get to see this movie, once again, I apologize. It's just the sheer fact that North America has a tough time, uh, re advertising for anime movies. It's a thing, it's a thing that we had to, eventually figure out as uh, anime fans and just I don't know how we can fix it I just know there has to be some way but overall like I said Sword Art Online is definitely worth the price of admission it is definitely worth seeing if you are a Sword Art Online fan so when it eventually comes out on Blu-ray or DVD however it's coming out definitely um, support it when it comes out purchase it I know I definitely will if it ever does come out on Blu-ray or DVD, but that's it. Um, Sword Online gets my thumbs up. It is, was definitely worth my viewing, <laughs> considering the fact it was, uh, I, it was 8 o'clock showing. It was a two-hour film. I got home at 10 o'clock, and I had to be at work at 3.30 at 3 in the morning. So it was definitely worth it, considering the fact I barely got any sleep. Out, uh, sleep. So, yeah, go... Go support Sword Online if you are a true, true Sword Online fan. That's it. That's my review of Sword Online the movie or No Scarol. It gets a thumbs up in my opinion. So, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button because my channel grows because of it. And subscribe because, as always, I have many more videos to come like this. I'm Dream Killer. Gamers keep on gaming and anime and Sword Online fans keep on rocking.